Today I'm going to show you how to replace the full hot end assembly on the A1 Mini. It's not a lot of videos on it, so I figured I would show you guys while I have to replace it ourselves. We had a clog of death pull off the little clips on the front of the nozzle here. You'll start by removing this faceplate, which can be removed simply by prying your finger up under the latch over here, and then you can just lift it off. You'll remove the nozzle by undoing the clips that we no longer have existing and pulling down on the nozzle assembly. You'll also take off the sock. Once you have all that done, you have to remove these two screws here first. If you don't have one of these electric screwdrivers, I highly recommend it. Next, you're going to want to take off the existing assembly. So you can remove these three screws right here that hold that in place. Now that it's off, you can see that you can pull it away here and there are these cables right here. You can see on the new replacement, it has cables that have to feed in through there and then come up to plug in the back over here but there are two screws down here that we have to remove as well so this one up in the top corner and then this one down here yeah once you get those screws removed you can move this whole assembly out you're not going to pull it all the way off just a little bit forward so that you can get at the cables here so we're going to try and gently pull these cables out so that they are no longer in that channel. And then this piece right here, we're just going to push forward in that direction. It takes a little force, so I am gonna use pliers to push it and it pops the back off. So hopefully um, I can go get that in a minute, but you're just gonna slide this guy forward so that you can pull the rest of these wires all the way out here. And then we're gonna go around to the back of the machine. Okay, back here you see we have our hot end and it just plugs right back here. So you're just gonna gently pull this off and we will do the same thing in the reverse order. So we'll take our new replacement and plug that in. So we'll feed these through that channel to the front, and then we'll go around to the front of the machine again. Back over here, we're going to feed the wires back through the channel that they were in before. So we're going to tuck them behind this little groove. Once you've gotten them all tucked in there, we'll pull this back around to the front and tuck it into the bottom groove down here and then we should be good to push this back in this is honestly probably the hardest part of the whole reassembly but you're going to take this little lip here and kind of tuck it underneath so you can pop it in and then you can slide it back until you lock it in. So make sure that the wires are out of the way. And then push it all the way back in place. I have retrieved my back cover, so we're going to pop this on. It goes where it is long ways with the rectangle at the top. And then it just pops back on. Now we can go ahead and put the screws back in the front. When you are doing this with two hands, you can um, put your hand back here to prevent your back cover from coming off and maybe keep better track of your screws since I looked for this one for a few minutes before I remembered that it was still right here. So we're gonna start by putting that one back in first. And then we will put this one back in down here. 
Then we're going to fit the assembly back into position to line up the three screws like so. We're going to put these two screws back in up here. Now we're just going to put the nozzle back on. We went ahead and ordered a new nozzle sock as our other one is pretty chewed up. So we're going to go and put that replacement on. I think probably one day I will try and heat this up and see if I can clean the gunk off of it and still use this nozzle. But for now, we're just going to put on a fresh new nozzle. So what you'll do is you'll take this magnetic bar and put that towards the back. And push the nozzle up into position where the filament goes. And then you're going to close these two clips in place. So this one, let's see if I can show you here, the ends of this clip go here. Underneath, it's not in the big rectangle, it's going to be underneath in between those guys. So we're going to clip that into place by holding this one and folding this one like so. You can see it is nested in there. Now we can put the new nozzle sock on. And we can put the front cover back on. It just slides over the top here and snaps into place at the bottom. So that's it. That's how you replace the entire hot end assembly for the A1 Mini which is very similar to the A1. Let me know if you guys think that was fairly easy. Pick up one of these if you don't have one already. I'll go ahead and drop a link to the one that I'm using in the description and happy repairs.